Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about blend shapes in Maya. Uh, I think it's pretty neat and uh, I'll just uh, demonstrate how to use that or at least how I know how to use that and uh, you know I'll be creative with that and see if you can find out very cool ways to apply that. Alright let's go. So I'm going to start off by creating a couple of polygon objects so I'm just going to select a uh, polygon sphere I'm going to drag that out in the grid. Just go to my front view and hit W and pull that up until I'm on my grid line, like so. And I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. So just hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay. So I'm going to hit Control D. Pull that over once. And I'm going to hit Shift D to uh, repeat that and hit Shift D again like so okay so now I got four basic objects here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that one at that end and actually I'm gonna do that in my uh, front view which is easier with the sphere I'm gonna right click go to vertex and I'm gonna just drag select a top portion of that and I'm gonna hit R and I'm just gonna pull that in to look at something like that. Okay. Now I'm going to select this one again, right click, go to vertex mode, and I'm going to drag select the middle section. And again, by hitting R, scale that in. So obviously you get a little bit uh, different uh, object. Okay. Then I'm going to select that one, and I'm just going to, um, let me see. Um, okay, right click again, vertex, and I'll just select the bottom part, okay, and scale that in again. Now, it's not the idea of this tutorial to create fancy objects, it's to show you the function of it, okay. We're going to go back to our perspective view, and as you can see, I got a couple of uh, odd looking shapes here. Now. What blend shape does is I got three different shapes here, and through the blend shape process, so to speak, I can apply these shapes to this master shape, so to speak. So I'm going to connect these three with my master shape, and how I do that is I right click, go to object mode. Yep, there we go. I'm going to drag select these three and I'm going to shift click on the master and then I'm going to go to my animation in my drop down menu I'm going to go to create deformers and I'm going to click on blend shape okay now nothing happens as you can see but let's look at this okay if we now go to our attribute editor and hit control A if that doesn't show up and we go to our blend shape tab you see I got sphere 2, 3, and 4, and these are these three here. Now, when I start to uh, drag on, on this uh, manipulator here, you'll see that my master shape will change. So when I start dragging on that one, as you can see, it's starting to copy the model of the number 2 sphere. When I select that one, it copies the middle one. And when I drag that one, it's the other one. Now, if I drag them all, you can see I get a total different shape. Now, the cool thing about this is you can use this in animation with not actually, well, not actually changing the shape. Because if I pull them all back, I got my original sphere again. Okay, quick and easy, very, very simple, and I'm looking forward to hear from you guys what kind of applications you can find with this uh, blend shape uh, option. All right, that's it. Very short one this time. Uh, likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. And see you guys next time. Thank you.